Oh, come on. You're always relying on mom, aren't you? Why don't you at least do the housework by yourself? Then my normally mild-mannered mother-in-law became furious with my husband. You're in the way. Get out of my house right now. My husband was kicked out by his mother, but then he did something unbelievable. My name is Madison, a 30-year-old office worker. My husband Kyle and I have been married for two years. We met through group dating, where he approached me and soon started dating. From the first time I met him, I had the impression that he was cool, funny, and handsome. He also worked for a large company, so to be honest, that was also a plus for me. I was happy that he approached me, and I was immediately attracted to him. He went on a few dates before making it official. We continued to date steadily, and a year after we started dating, we got married. I knew I could have a happy married life with him. We met each other's parents, had the wedding ceremony, and before I knew it, we were a married couple. Even so, the newlywed life was exciting, and every day was fresh and fun. My husband wanted me to stay at home, so I became a full-time housewife. I worked hard every day to take care of the housework. I carefully cleaned the house to make it comfortable, and I made sure to iron all the shirts my husband wore every day. I also put a lot of effort into cooking, making sure to make several types of dishes every day, and packed lunches for him too. My husband was very satisfied with my efforts, and praised me for it. You work really hard to do the housework, and it really helps me out. Thanks for everything. I was very happy just to hear my husband say that. After that, I continued to do my best. After all, when my husband praises me, I feel motivated. It makes me want to do more, and more things for him. My husband took me to outings on his days off, and took me to nice restaurants on our anniversaries. Because of these things, my newlywed life was extremely happy. I also had a good relationship with my in-laws. Every time I went to my in-laws' house, they were very nice to me. Madison, we got some delicious snacks, so why don't you join us? Oh, that sounds good. Okay then, I'll get the coffee. He's been into making hand-dripped coffee these days, so we'll just have to let him do it. Oh, come on, don't say it like that. I'll make sure you get a nice cup of coffee. My in-laws are a very close couple, and I've always looked up to them as husband and wife. Well, I guess my husband and I are similarly close and happily married. I was happy as a newlywed, and my relationship with my in-laws was good, and everything was going well. Two years after our marriage, I became pregnant. I was overjoyed to have a child with my husband I loved so much. When the doctor told me I was pregnant, I immediately went and told my husband. What? We're having a baby? Yay, I can't wait. Madison, I'm going to try my best to be a great father. My husband was extremely happy when he heard the news. I'm glad he loves kids, and seeing him so happy made me happy too. We are going to have a warm and happy family, aren't we? Yes, of course. After that, I told my in-laws that I was pregnant, and they were very happy as well. It's great to see the face of our grandchild so soon, isn't it? You'll have to buy all kinds of baby goodies, right, Madison? If there's anything we can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. You can count on us. Yes, thank you very much. My parents live in a rural area in the countryside, so I can't just casually go home. So it's quite reassuring to have my in-laws living in the same area as us. Moreover, both of my in-laws are so kind to me, so I really appreciate it. I thought that I would be able to have a good relationship with my in-laws and enjoy my days with them after the birth of my child. However, after I became pregnant, my husband's true nature, which I did not know about, gradually became clear to me. That day, I was extremely ill due to morning sickness. I didn't have the energy to cook dinner. I had never had a day like this since we got married. 
I've never been sick because I'm genuinely immune and don't catch colds. But this pregnancy was beyond my imagination, and I got sicker than I expected. I was so sick that I did not feel like moving around and doing the housework. I messaged my husband around lunchtime. It was to say that I couldn't cook dinner, so I wanted him to buy some on the way home. I received a reply of concern and acknowledgement that he understood. That day was really bad and I laid there all day. My husband looked at me and said, You look really sick, as he worried about me. He told me to take it easy and I was grateful for his words. I finally felt a little better after sleeping all day, but the smell of food was still too strong for me to make my husband's lunch. This has never happened to me before and I felt so sorry. I needed to get better soon. I bought some fruit and other things to nourish myself for the time being. I tried to do as much light housework as I could without overdoing it, and just concentrated on resting my body. Finally at night, I felt better and was able to cook dinner. Oh, dinner is ready. You must be feeling better. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you so much. No, it's okay. Well, I don't want this to happen again and again, though. What? My husband was munching on his dinner while saying that. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to go through morning sickness, and to be honest, I didn't know what to expect when he'd say something like that to me. I tried to stay in shape as much as possible. There are some things you can't control. About a month later, I got really sick again with morning sickness, so I couldn't cook for my husband like I always did. I sent a message to my husband asking him to prepare his meal by himself, as I had done last time. But he didn't reply. I had a bad feeling about this, but I was too sick to do anything about it, so I went back to sleep. When I woke up, it was after 8pm. I dragged myself out of bed and went to the living room. My husband was already home, drinking beer in front of the TV. Hey, I didn't hear you come home. Sorry I couldn't make dinner today. Yeah, well, you'll have to do better tomorrow, won't you? My husband turned to me and said in a deep voice. Then he immediately turned to the TV. He seemed to be angry. That's when I remembered what he said the other day about how he didn't want this to happen again and again. But I didn't skip dinner because I didn't want to cook, and I wasn't sick on purpose. I wanted my husband to understand that. I wondered if he would start to give me the cold shoulder when I got sick again. I became even more anxious. And I was right. A week later, I got sick again. I was surprised at myself at how often I felt sick. I was hesitant to contact my husband, but I sent him a message asking him to prepare his meal again. My husband responded very coldly this time. That's enough. Don't take advantage of me like that. You're a housewife, so do your part. These messages came one after another. Then my husband sent a message saying that if I didn't have any dinner ready, he would go out for a drink. And that was the end of the exchange. It's terrible that he goes out for a drink when his wife is feeling nauseous. I thought he was just angry and said such a thing, but he really went out for a drink and came back at 2 a.m., I was extremely anxious until he came home. I was afraid that my condition would get worse and collapse. And after that, he became very strict with me. You've been so lazy lately, haven't you? I can tell you've been slacking off on cleaning and cooking. I'm sorry, but I'm not in the best of shape to do the housework, and this is all I can do. I told you to stop making excuses like that. Being a housewife is easy, isn't it? I've worked my butt off to provide living for the both of us. But to be treated with such shoddy housework makes me wish I could be you lying around at home. How could he say such a thing? I was shocked. My husband doesn't help me with the housework at all, no matter how hard it is for me. And on the contrary, he abuses me with his words like that. I called my mother-in-law, desperate for help. When I told her that I was very sick from the pregnancy, she told me to go over to their house right away, and she even offered to drive over to pick me up if it was needed. Madison, are you okay? 
The sickness during pregnancy is hard for some people, so don't push yourself too hard. When we arrived at my in-law's house, my mother-in-law told me to take it easy, and she prepared some food for me to eat that was good for my pregnant body. How about you just stay here for a while? What? Well, your parents' house is too far away and your brother and his wife lives with them, right? That's right. Indeed, my brother and his wife lives with my parents, and since they are quite far away, it was practically impossible for me to go back to my own parents' house. So, I was very grateful to be allowed to spend time at my in-law's house as if they were my own parents. But without me, there would be no one to do the housework. When I said that, my mother-in-law told me not to worry about it. He's a grown man, so he should be able to do that on his own. If it's okay with you, I'll call Kyle right away. I was a little torn, but I decided to take my mother-in-law's word for it. Since my mother-in-law contacted Kyle, my husband couldn't complain to his mother and readily allowed me to stay there. I spent some time at my in-law's house, and I really felt at home. My in-laws treated me as if I was their real daughter, and told me I didn't have to do any of the housework. This allowed me to rest my body and calm down mentally. About a month after I started living there, my husband suddenly came to the house. It was Sunday morning, and my in-laws had just driven to the supermarket in the next town over to do some shopping because they were having a special sale. I was in good health, so I stayed at home and waited for my in-laws. I was surprised when my husband came out of the blue. Kyle, what's wrong? What's wrong? This is my parents' house. It's my business, whether I decide to come home or not. You're the stranger here. He still talked to me coldly. I thought he might be a little nicer to me now that I've been away for a while, but his attitude hadn't changed since right before I left. He sat down on the sofa with a thud and let out a deep sigh. Oh, my head hurts from the hangover. My husband says this, though nobody asked. I drank out last night, or rather until this morning. His wife is going to have a baby soon, and he'd been drinking until the morning. I was listening to my husband, thinking to myself that he was really selfish. Then my husband looked at me. What is it? I asked, not knowing why he was looking at me. He sighed and told me to at least serve him tea. I was annoyed, but I wasn't feeling too bad today, so I offered him tea. You've really become sloppy, haven't you? He drank the tea while saying that. Then he laid down on the sofa and started watching TV. I wonder why he came over here. If he just wanted to relax, why didn't he stay back home? Apparently, the place where he had been drinking this morning was closer to his parents' house than to his own. That's why he came here. After relaxing on the sofa, he asked me to cook something for him. By that time, my bump was getting bigger and all my movements were as if in slow motion. I had no choice but to make breakfast for him, though. But he saw me moving so slowly and blurted out. How slow can you move? I hope you haven't been skipping on housework the whole time you've been here. Your mother is kind enough to tell me not to worry about housework, so she's been doing most of it. I answered honestly. Then my husband shrugged his shoulders and made fun of me. Oh, come on. You're always relying on mom, aren't you? Why don't you at least do the housework by yourself? If I had to deal with a husband who blamed me like that, I would get sick again. So I told him I was sorry and that I would take care of it, and prepared his breakfast as told. Just then, my in-laws came home. Oh, Kyle, you're home. I thought I'd come over to my parents for a bit. You're being too easy on Madison. She's forgotten how to cook and clean. If she comes home after having a baby, and she's still doing everything so slowly, it's just useless. My husband badmouthed me like that, even in front of my in-laws. Then, my mother-in-law, who was usually mild-mannered, became furious with my husband. What a thing to say to your pregnant wife. She's going to have a baby soon, and her bump is getting bigger, so it's no wonder she's moving slower. Shame on you for not knowing that and saying such a thing to her. What the hell? Why are you so angry? 
You're in the way and I want you out of my house right now. My husband was surprised because my mother-in-law was fierce. And just like that, my husband was kicked out by my mother-in-law. My in-laws apologized to me when they did nothing wrong. My husband had left and there was peace again. But then he did something unbelievable. It was when my mother-in-law went to check on him for me and picked up a few of my things on the way. My mother-in-law came home furious. And there was my husband next to her. What's going on? Kyle brought home a woman. Huh? I couldn't understand on the spot. Oh, she was just... Um, she is... My husband was choking on his words as if he couldn't find a good excuse. I guess that answers that question. He was having an affair. Since when? How long have you been having an affair? I asked, surprisingly quietly. Well, um, about six months ago. That long? My husband had been having an affair since a little while after we found out I was pregnant. He said it was with a colleague from his company. She told me I was so cool working so hard for my future baby and then... I didn't want to hear what happened after that. My mother-in-law slaps my husband. You're such a scoundrel. You should be ashamed of yourself. My husband looked smaller as my mother-in-law yelled at him. I lost all affection for him at once. I think we'll have to separate. What? I knew I couldn't trust you after what you've been doing and saying lately. I can't imagine how hard it must be for you to be a single mother when you're going to have a child. When my husband said that, my in-laws got angry again. Who do you think is to blame for all this? My husband shut his mouth at that. Madison, you do what you want. I'm sorry our son did such a horrible thing. My in-laws were totally on my side. Anyway, I needed to focus on the birth right now. So they say I can stay with them until the baby was born. And they cut off their son and didn't allow him to come back to their house. I safely gave birth a little while later. A healthy baby girl was born. My in-laws were very happy to see their grandchild. Of course, I didn't let my husband see her. After that, I divorced my husband and filed for alimony against him and the affair partner. And of course, I asked my husband for child support. For the time being, it allowed me to live on that while I looked for a job. I immediately went job hunting and luckily got hired. I kept my daughter at a daycare center and decided to live as a single mother from then on. I have kept in touch with my in-laws since then and I visit them regularly for them to see their grandchild. I heard that my ex-husband tried to remarry his affair partner, but apparently she actually had a real boyfriend and dumped him without a second thought. However, my ex-husband got upset at that and told her boyfriend about the affair and the boyfriend dumped her soon after. The affair partner and my ex-husband had a huge fight, which became a problem within the company. As a result, the affair partner resigned voluntarily, and my ex-husband was sent to a smaller branch in a rural town. When I hear things like that, I realize again how foolish it is to be naive and have an affair with a light heart. On the other hand, I am living with my daughter and seeing her become capable of doing various things every day makes me very happy. I will continue to work hard for my daughter and enjoy watching her grow up. What a lousy husband to be so selfish while having an affair himself. It's a good thing that her in-laws were very kind. I'm sure Madison will be able to live independently, and I hope she continues to stay close with her daughter and make lots of happy memories with her. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you liked our story. See you in the next video.